Hi everyone, this, I'm gonna do this empties in one go because, frankly I haven't got the energy, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, and they were beginning to take up too much space again behind me over here. So it's predominantly hair, but there's about mm, 10 face and five body. So I'm gonna do face, hair, body. It'll be like a breeze through them. It won't be four hours long, but I will give you the details that you need. So let's start with one that I haven't got any information on. Um, it was sent to me by the company. I don't know if it's still available. Everywhere I've checked, it says sold out and unavailable. So I can't even tell you how much they are or were. Chanel cotton wool. Can we talk about extravagance? Um, as I say, it came in a press bag, extra soft cotton. Now I had kept these for ages and didn't use them because at one point I was gonna give them to my mum and I thought, sod that, I'm gonna use them. Um, and it was, they were lovely and I didn't even save any to show you. But they are essentially Chanel cotton, they're cotton squares, uh, lovely texture, not scratchy. I hate cotton wool, it makes me gag. Properly like, <gasps> every time I get my nails done, I'm like, can't bear it. Um, this didn't make me feel that bad. Um, and it has the, obviously the double C imprinted on it. Do you need them? Absolutely not. Are they nice to have? 100%. Can give you no further information. Absolutely bloody useless, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I have been going through, uh, continuing my last uh, video, going through a shopping my stash. Um, just as well, because I'm going to LA at the end of November. We all know what that means. Um, so I have been actively using things up before I move on to the next. Um, so you will, basically, all the ones I said I couldn't find last time, yes, three double cleanse. Now, in terms of usage, I have not gone through three of these since my last empty space video. I just wanna put that out there. I also share this with my daughter who uses it literally every single day. She wears makeup every day, she's a teenager, she has the energy. I don't. Um, it is my Pixie Double Cleanse. I know you all know it, but I'm just gonna show you briefly anyway. One, two, three. Um, it is a solid oil on one side and a cream on the other. I would like them separately. I don't know if Pixie are listening to me. I'm just gonna put that out there. Every time I mention it, people say I want more, and it's always split. I want the balm on its own, I want the cream on its own. Um, I want the cream on its own because I get through the cream quicker. Um, so let's just put that out there, shall we, to Petra. Uh, but hear me when I tell you, I feel you, I am with you. Okay, uh, I'll move it in the stage as if I was doing a routine. Uh, First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I've used these for years, on and off again, but as I say, I'm trying to work my way through. Um, these are glycolic acid, they're alcohol free, uh, it's been a while since I spoke about these actually. Um, aloe, glycerin, cucumber. Good job it doesn't smell a like cucumber. Do you know what I mean? Lactic, glycolic, uh, radish root ferment, filtrate, camellia. Anyway, they're very nice. Um, they are gentle enough that I let Ava use them. She did not use these up, this was me. Um, and they're one of the probably one of the original acid pads, as it were. So I love those. Uh, this has also been in regular empties, but I wanted to work through. So I am now one of, I think this is gonna be my fourth or fifth bottle. Indeed Labs Mineral Booster. Um, we sold out definitely the UK and I think Indeed Labs of this when I spoke about it last time. Well, I say we, you did the work. Um, I still use it, I still love it. I still couldn't give you, you know, is there a clinical trial proving that adding minerals to the skin does the same thing as eating minerals? Probably not. Do I care? No. Does it work for me? Yes. I don't know what else to tell you people. I like it. And this, oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, this is another Indeed Labs and you can tell that I was using them together and quite being meticulous. This is the Hydrolure Intense Moisture Lotion. Now this one, is the oh oh okay i did get the last bit out um this is the lotion version so in the hydroluron family or in canada they say hydroluron i'm sorry what 
First time they said it, I didn't know what they were talking about. I kept going, what, what is, what is hydroluron? Hydroluron, no, hydroluron. Come on people, get it right. You made the product, at least talk about it correctly. Um, there is the hydroluron tube, the original. There's the hydroluron jelly, which is like an oil-free moisturizer type thing. There is this, and there is, what am I forgetting? One, two, three, is that all? Hydroluron Louise is sitting behind the camera because if she doesn't write everything down I'm talking about, it takes me five hours to do it. Um, say hello, Louise. Hi. <laughs> She's like, please don't do that to me. Um, if I remember, I'll put it down. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but what? Oh, the sheet masks that they discontinued. And anyway, I will link to the Indeed Labs Hydroluron family. Um, but, you know, if you want sort of good mid-priced to affordable depending on where you buy it what country you're in and where you're purchasing it um these are great products this is three i believe three different types yes three different types of hyaluronic acid um and yeah i got through it like that because when i find something that is a moisturizer but it's light and it's hydrating i will reapply through the day especially when travel and i did a lot of that in the last few months so highly recommend love uh, speaking of hyaluronic acid, this was also in my last empties and I've since gone through another one and I'm about to finish another two because I keep one in the kitchen and one in my bedside. I'll tell you for why, because I'm lazy and if I think to take it in the kitchen and it's in the bedside, I won't bother going back downstairs to get it and vice versa. So I have two, but it means they last twice as long. Um, Wild Nutrition Hyaluronic Acid. It's still probably the supplement I take the most regularly. I Again, I think it works for me. I don't know what clinicals they've done. I should probably think about that before I talk about it. But anyway, um, it works for me. They are great in that they are, um, where is the info? Hang on, free from, oh, <laughs> excipients. Wheat, gluten containing uh, ingredients. This is all free from. Uh, soy, milk, blah, blah, sugars, flavorings, preservatives, contains no live yeast at time of manufacture. More of which in a couple of weeks. There is a big influx, and this is all for more for Bun Friday, but there's a big influx of biome talk and live culture in product talk. That is actually illegal in the EU. So I'm doing a bit of um, info on that because I found a product from the States that does contain live culture and it's amazing. So I don't know what to tell you people, but I like the wild nutrition. Oh, did I save one? I saved myself one to show you what they look like. Nice work, Caroline. Like that. Nice little white capsules, not offensive in the least. Colour. Again, this should, maybe I'll just do an end of year Hall of Fame video. I'll have to do an end of year Hall of Fame video. Illusion, hyaluronic skin tint from Hourglass. Beige, you can tell, I don't need to cut this in half because I know I've got it all out because what happens is I am so rough with it when I get to the end that it splits here and here. It doesn't happen until I, you know when you bend this over to try and get it all out? Um, and I went to the trouble of cutting one once and I got half a top end of a fingernail full. It wasn't really worth the effort, but uh, this is still sealed, but when it starts to give around the edges, I know that that's when I've mullered. I still don't know where that saying comes from. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I am probably, I love this for I've used this for years, but I'm probably going to step it up a gear and go to a slightly heavier foundation. Uh, I've noticed that I need it. Probably best left at that. Um, Pixie Petal Ice Lip Lift Max. Looks like this. There is actually nothing in this. It's dry as a bone. Uh, the original is my favourite. Um, there are a couple of other colours. I will always go for this over the other colors because when I use this, there are a couple of comments in one of my most recent videos, I can't remember which one it was, but I'll, I'm gonna link to this below anyway, where they said, what is on your lips? Please don't tell me that's just your natural lip color. It wasn't, it was this on top of it. It makes your own lips look better. There you go. Okay, that is face. If you're not interested in hair and body, off you sod. Uh, if you are, I'm going to try and do it in a bit of order and I'm going to pull out my favourite things early on so that you stay interested and don't think, oh really, how long is that going to take? So some newbies that I enjoyed, just getting my ducks in a row. 
Um, Davines, again, Melu shampoo. Melu, Melu. Looks like this. It's actually a bit green. There's a tiny bit there at the bottom. Um, I have yet to meet, I'm enunciating again, which means I'm being very serious. I have yet to meet a Davines product that I do not like. I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong. I'm sure Lou will wave at me if I'm doing something wrong, but I'm pretty sure I haven't not got on. That's actually a double negative. I know it's not a sentence, but I don't think I've ever not got on with a Davines product. I'm just trying to think. I don't know why I'm looking over to the east, but I am. Anyway, okay. There's two more from Davines. I'm just gonna do it by branding because it's easier. Uh, renewing shampoo, longevity shampoo for all scalp and hair types. This is the one that we took on our summer holiday. And then I've had another one since then that's gone. And these ones, uh, and the Oi, remember Oi conditioner? That is also dead as a dodo. These ones are, uh, oh, there's another one. I knew there was, wait, please hold caller. This is the fourth and then we're good. Okay, and then this one is your hair assistant, Prep Rich Balm, Davines. Conditioner for thick and treated hair. Now my hair is not thick, but it is treated within an inch of its life, um, which gives the fake appearance of it being thick. It's not, it's very fine. I just have a lot of it. Um, so this is empty, these are empty, and these are exclusive, oh, exclusively my usage. Ava does not get her hands on these, I hide them from her. That's right, boo, I do. And I say that because I know she never watches anything I do, nor reads anything I write, like all of my family. Uh, but the Malou, the Natural Tech Renewing Shampoo, the Your Hair Assistant Prep Rich Balm, and the Oi Conditioner, Love will repeat purchase forever and ever. A couple of those purchases and a couple of those were sent to me. I didn't buy all of them. Um, again, we're here again. Sacred TRA, leave-in conditioner, Carol's daughter. Um, I think I'm down to my last one of these. I don't know if you remember, when I was in the States a couple of years ago, I think I bought like 10. Uh, and the last time I went, I couldn't find them. And then I've had numerous messages, because I, I think when people watch old videos, they answer old questions. But one of them, interestingly, was someone saying that they've changed the packaging and they couldn't find this in the lineup. But like I say, I'm at the States. I'm in the States at the end of the month. I'll have a look. But this is just a really nice leave-in conditioner. It's not heavy. It is nourishing, but it's not oily, which is kind of what you need because you want it to still have a bit of oomph. I don't know what that is, but oomph. Um, let's do some Kerastars. Kerastars is a weird one for me because, I'll tell you for why, um, I like it, I, I, I like it, I don't love it, and I hate the packaging. So I did this in um, my nice juice, shame, nice lovely product, shame about the packaging, whatever that video was. Um, the mask, resistance marks, mask extensionist. Great product. Smells a dream, feels a dream on my hair. Have to get your hand in and around in the shower and then find somewhere to put that so that the shower water doesn't fill the pot with water and it gives me the ump. Just gonna put that out there. Um, and then fondant extensionist. I'm not even gonna bother, oh, fondant extensionist. Uh, this is a resistance range again. Uh, length strengthening conditioner. Hair seeking healthy length. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, again, love it. it. Feels like there's a bit left at the bottom of that. Oh, no, it's the weight of the lid. <sighs> See, uh, really, really good conditioners. I prefer the conditioners and Kerastars to the shampoos. You'll notice there is no Kerastars shampoo here. There's two conditioners. Kind of tells you what you need to know. But that's a great range if you have long hair and you are attempting to prevent it from breaking. Uh, Frederick Fakai. The One by Frederick Fakai. The Brilliant One and Shampoo and the Brilliant One Conditioner. Exclusive Marine Complex, da da da. Nourishing, sulfate free, always with me, if I can help it. Uh, loved these, again, the packaging seemed a bit faffy. However, you can get it all out and that is your normal um, pack. And then this unscrews. Oh, look at that, that is like, you see, like nothing. And the joy of it is you can unscrew it and do what you, like a ketchup bottle. So, uh, great shampoos. I don't know, um, this is for, just says for all, I think this is more for shine, the one. And the writing, I swear to God, I'm not going blind, but it is so formulated. Oh, color enhancing. There you go, that's why that was sent. These were sent to me when I was in New York and I carried them back because I love a bit of Fakai. 
Um, these were uh, very nice. I think it depends on if you can afford them. They're at the higher end of the scale, but I like. Now, this one caused, <laughs> not a row, but plenty of entertaining banter on social media. This is Way Shampoo Repair and Shampoo uh, Conditioner Repair. However, the shampoo, this is the shampoo, okay? This is the conditioner. I don't know about you, but on longer hair especially, especially as it's a repair one, they should be the other way around. To my mind, they're the other way around. I shampoo once and I do a ton of conditioner all over my hair from the root all the way through to the ends. That's how I was taught when I worked for Aveda and it's never done me wrong. My roots don't go greasy like some people say, it just doesn't happen for me. So these were great, but this lasted weeks and weeks longer than this. This was gone after a couple of weeks, the way I use it. So um, it was good, but I wouldn't get them again purely for the value. I'll get this one again, but this one I need in a bigger, bigger bottle, please. But great product, just not big enough. Josh Wood, uplifting conditioner for blonde hair prone to frizz. Cha-ching. Um, this is in Boots uh, and at joshwoodcolor.com, I think it is. Um, this is a brilliant range. Most of the stuff in the line is under 10 quid. Um, the shampoos are cool. The conditioners, you can pick one that goes down to your hair color, your hair type, i.e. does it frizz, doesn't it frizz? Are you concerned more about the brightness of your hair or the frizziness? Um, I love this. I am nearly at the end of his mask. I could technically have put it in this one, but I'll start off the next one with it. Um, Josh Wood, recommend, love it. And he has just released some color shots. So if you are buying a uh, at home hair color, especially if it's the Josh Wood one, you can buy an extra booster shot to boost either the sort of violet, li uh, violet light aspect of your hair or the golden tones or the brown, brunette and black. So brilliant, love him, genius. Um, let me do some more main uh, purology. Uh, strength Cure Restorative Mask and Strength Cure Superfood Treatment. So one's a treatment, but I use it as a conditioner and one's a mask. Now, this is what I want in a conditioner packaging. If you're not gonna put it in a tube, put it in a pot that I can actually access. Thanks very much. And you're the same company it's all L'Oreal, you can do it, so come on people. Um, the superfood treatment, it all smells like a dream. Purology is their vegan line, it has no sulfates, it's one of the one that's, it's one of those that sort of talks about what it doesn't have. So I'll just tell you what it does do. It is, I find it strengthening, uh, you can put your brush straight through it if you've got long hair. And I've been trying to sort of grow the hair and stop all the breakages. I still get breakage around the front, but then I'm always doing a bun or I'm always having a blow dry. I don't mean always, but when I do, it's kind of intense around the front. That made me sound like I was the queen then. Oh, I have a blow dry every day. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but I love Purology. I've mentioned them numerous times on here. Uh, Living Proof, Restore Max Treatment, deeply nourishes and reverses damage. Now, again, this is what I want. Sorry, I didn't, I'm not showing you things, but I'm gonna list them below. This is what I want in a conditioner or a mask pack for the shower, because it's a big fat pot. You can take what you need out of it, get it out of the way. You know, yes, ideally you can have a tube, but some of these masks are too thick for a tube. And equally, I don't wanna to have to, you have a workout when I'm trying to squeeze it out. Is that a nice one for you to pause on? Like, um, but this is a great mask. The Living, Proof, the Living Proof Restore range is really, really lovely. I think it does what it says on the tin. My hair's definitely in good condition. I mean, frankly, if it isn't in vaguely good condition after using all this lot, there would be a major problem, but I like. Um, I'm gonna leave those for the end because they're my favorites. Thank you. Uh, Aveda Damage Remedy, Split End Repair, Instant Repair That Lasts. This I've got a little bit left in so I can um, keep this on my desk you apply a small amount to the ends of fully dry hair and you don't rinse it out. So if you have split ends or if you are prone to split ends and you want something to um, make sure they sort of stay a bit smoother, this is for you. I tend to use this more when I'm doing a bun because when I do my bun, the way it sort of ends up on top is the ends sort of stick out like <laughs> twigs and then I just, I smooth them down before I put it up so that when they pop up, they kind of are a bit more together. It makes sense in my head and on my head. Hmm, see what I did there. 
Uh, Maui Moisture Revive and Hydrate Shea Butter Shampoo for Dry Damaged Hair. This is supermarket. Oh yeah, smells lush. Uh, actually, that reminds me of America. Oh God. Um, I love these shampoos. They are super affordable. I hate the lids. These snap off. I have a feeling the conditioner bottle is not here because it snapped off and then this broke in the shower and I threw it away in a rage. Um, but I love the product and it won't stop me buying it. I just wish they would fix the lid. You'll see a lot of it is designed for long, coloured, overprocessed hair. That be me. Kevin Murphy, Angel Mask and Crystal Angel, illuminating gloss colour, enhancing shine treatment and strengthening and thickening conditioner, conditioning treatment for fine coloured hair. So here's your problem with these two. First of all, this packaging, no. I mean, I've mentioned this before too. It, this won't close. And the one that is actually, this is coloured uh, grey to sort of take down, I think this is to take down the purpley violet. Please bear with. Oh, it doesn't even say. I think it is just to give it a shine. Um, and I'll list them all below. He does like five or six. One's to bring out golden tones, one's to bring out ash blonde, one's to bring out um, brunettes, that kind of thing. But this always, without fail, breaks. And it drives me nuts. Um, this is a bit better, but here's my other example of Angel Mask is almost too thick to get out that way. But the product itself, is very nice. Um, so I suppose you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. See, there's actually some left in that. Did you? <laughs> um, not as nice a smell as some of the others, but the product does work. Now, if you think for one second, I can read that. Come on now. I, I don't even know, I couldn't even begin to tell you. That might not even be in English. Um, so my three favorites, okay, Nexus. Uh, encapsulate serum caviar now this has a little bit left in the bottom because I was really conscious of getting it here now it doesn't come out that easy if it's been if it's kind of like falling this way you do have to kind of whack it around however this I do think works I am not entirely sure what the process is and I think the middle bit the white globules <laughs> the white I'm so technical I could literally present the sky at night um, I believe that is the protein aspect. I could be completely wrong, but I will link to it below. But this is very nice and I tend to use this again for bun hair. When I'm doing a bun, I load it with treatments and I try not to tie it too tight and then I just treat it as a treatment session for the day for the hair. Um, so that when I am blow drying it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna snap off in my hand. I like this. I think this is my second one of these I've gotten through. If it hasn't been in an empty before, it means there's another empty one at home somewhere because I know that's not my first one. Okay, my two favorites of the currency. There's another one, but that's not empty yet. That's at home. This is Rich Kid by IGK, coconut oil gel. The, this coconut oil infused gel is the foundation in creating the hydrated, lived in, undone hair of right now. Oh, we are supposed to let it air dry. Oh, to make you look like your favorite supermodel. <laughs> Good one. I take more than a hair product to make me look like a supermodel, mate, but all right. Um, I don't use it that way at all. I should have probably read the label. I use this when I'm doing a bun because it keeps it neat and compact and groomed. So sorry, there's probably something that's much better for me to use when I'm doing a bun. I will look into it, especially when I'm in the States because it's cheaper over there. But I, yeah, I use it for a bun, but this does apply to clean towel dried hair and let air dry for optimal separation and hydration a la your favorite supermodel. Yeah, I, my hair's not gonna look like that if I let it air dry, but nice try. Okay, Kevin Murphy, this is one I do love. This is bedroom hair, flexible texturizing hairspray. Again, don't even bother trying to read that. Look on the website. There's nothing in here, but it's, oh, oh. Oh, there's a bit. Okay, hang on. No, that is, it looks like it's spraying a lot. It's hot air. Um, <coughs> this, I love the smell. I love, it's literally, it's just a load of air. There's no product left in it. It's just, um, it is, it does what it says. You know how some of those flexible texturizing hairsprays make your hair go a bit crunchy? This just makes it stay put, but not be crispy. There's no crispy bacon hair with this. Um, and I love the smell. 
this and the triple sec dry by dry bar that's the other one I've got at home. They're my favourites. When I go to the States, I'm going to buy so many bottles of that triple sec, I can't tell you. I will obviously insta story it when I'm buying it. Um, but I love this in a way that I didn't love this, for example. Love this. Okay, body. That's hair done. If you're not interested in body, off you sod. Body is going to be quick. There's only six. Worry me not. Shower gels. Let's go from the uh, sublime to the ridiculous. So, Gabrielle Chanel. This is uh, obviously one, now we're coming up to Christmas. Foaming shower gel. It smells delicious. I'd like to tell you how it felt on my skin, but it was stolen by Ava and it only was left in the shower. I had forgotten I had it and it was only left in the shower when it was empty. However, it smells beautiful and she would come out of the shower and I'd go, what did you just use for That smells lovely. And she'd go, no, it's my shampoo. And I was just stupid and lazy enough to not go, but that, smells really lovely that smells like it could be Chanel now I know and the next one I get will be hidden although I don't know if they do one but I want a cocoa one that's going on my Christmas list thank you very much Chanel but I couldn't tell you how good it was uh, Nectarin Blossom and Honey Bubble Bath Joe Malone this we used as a shower gel because we don't have a bath we had it ripped out and then the shower put in walking shower put in um, so it's not great for the shower, however it would be great for you if you wanted it to go on the side of your bath and sit there looking pretty. Perfectly good shower gel, does what it says on the tin. Both of these actually work. I did ask Ava, I did do my research. Both of these actually work. However, if you're on a budget and you can maybe put these on your Christmas list, fine. If you're on a budget and you want to have a tingly lady garden, original source. I've discussed this before. This is the Tingly, it is Tingly, mint and tea tree. It says 100% natural fragrance, but don't buy this thinking you're getting something organic. Get a grip. Um, this is, goes against, I've said this before, it, it goes against everything I say in terms of sodium lauryl sulfate. It's the second ingredient. It's a foaming shower gel. I don't have that much of a problem in the Holy Trinity, which is Pit Pit Fanny. Um, <laughs> I had to show Mr. Hirons that I'd said that for something recently and he literally went, holy trinity, pit pit fanny, yeah. Um, and I mean both fannies, whether you're in the UK or the US, because they're different sides of the, anyway. Um, but what they do do well is 100% recyclable bottle, tested on us, made in the UK, paraben free, yada yada yada. Don't bother with the other flavours, they're not as strong flavours, I always call them flavours. Tingly Mint and Tea Tree is the one you want. The men's one that is in a blackish bottle, it says it's stronger, is a bit too strong. And I'm kind of offended that they think women couldn't handle it. It's just overpowering. It's not that it does any different action in terms of washing. But this will wake you up in a hurry. Leave it at that. Okay, and then uh, a new one and two that you've seen before. Garnier Body Repair, my last body video I think had three or four of these uh, you can see there's a little bit I can see there's like a tiny bit left there so I can whack that out um, I tried to get these uh, and again this goes against everything I say the second ingredient here is mineral oil I love it as a body lotion don't know what else to tell you uh, Sainsbury's had these on offer for two pounds recently do you think I could get any anywhere non anywhere so when I find this mother and I have a rule whoever finds it whoever finds it has to buy like ten if it's on offer um, five if it's not and then we divvy them up uh, I've run out it was on offer and it, as always with these things when they go on offer they sell out so I will use this forever it's a great cheap as chips body lotion um, also supermarket boots super drug side of town O'Keefe's skin repair body lotion 48 hour dry skin relief in one use for extremely dry itchy skin unscented non-greasy hypoallergenic now, this is technically better for your skin if you, uh, it says safe for skin that is impacted by diabetes and eczema. Now, technically, a lot of things are unless they're heavily fragranced. I found this one to be a bit more moisturizing. I did like this and I liked the pump action. Um, it was very good and I happily used it all the way to the end, which is unusual for me because I use body lotion probably more than anything else. Body lotion, shampoo and conditioner are my sort of everyday everywhere. Um, but I would still buy this one over this one. But 
it is really good. So if you see it, don't be put off by the fact that I said that because this is fragranced and this isn't. And this is mineral oil and this isn't. This is better ingredients and so yeah, the science is there, but I don't know. Old habits die hard. Last one for the day. This is Clarins Body Smoothing Moisture Milk with Aloe Vera. I picked this up in Dublin Airport. Uh, I reckon I'll get another couple of legs out of that. I had like a 20 euro note left over and it was, it was under 20 anyway. Um, I think it's only available in duty free. It's a big fat size. It's a 400 mil. It smells amazing. I would like for it to come out a little bit quicker. It takes, you kind of get repetitive strain injury on your finger trying to get as much as you need. But it's a brilliant body moisturizer. I love it. And I've still got enough left there that this won't go into, in, all of this goes to recycling. This isn't gonna to go to recycling. So these are kind of, you know, this is safer for Jim because he has type one diabetes. So I would happily let him use this. And I did rub some of that into his legs. It was his birthday, joking. Um, I use this all the time, I love it. And then this is a nice new addition. So in terms of price points, this is your uh, chemist, super drug, super affordable. Clarins is obviously Clarins, but it is a really lovely uh, third ingredient shea butter. It's a really nice heavy lotion, but it feels like a milk and it doesn't feel sticky and greasy. Hope that makes sense. Um, that is all. I can't remember what's next. Um, thank you so much for watching. Everything will be listed below. Um, yeah, I have no clue. See you soon, bye.